hold up a second. Thank oh, you. Oh, 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 and what? Oh, no. Oh! Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror, Horror Bandwagon. Bandwagon. Hi, my name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for heart analysis. Criticism. And spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And guess what, guys? It is officially the end of 2023. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're watching this in like 2027, this is where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, from the future or from the past, I think. But we left it up to you guys to choose what movie we should end the year on. And most of you have chosen Dead, Dead Silence. Silence. Now, do you know anything about Dead Silence? No, I know absolutely nothing at all. Not even the poster? Uh, I've, I've seen the poster okay. because you made this post on YouTube. Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, I have seen the poster. I actually don't even know when it came out. Okay. I want to say that it came out around the time that the Saw movies were coming out. Goody. Because, because it is made by the same people okay. or they claim to be. It's on the poster. It's like by the creators of Saw. So this is gonna be lots of gore, I'm assuming. I'm assuming too. They got some like weird decaying finger on the poster. Cool. And I wanna say it's a doll on the poster. I don't okay. know how relevant the doll is gonna be in the movie, but we shall see. Now, speaking of doll, mm -hmm. one, I'm trying to rep the only like sweatshirt I have of a doll, which is Stitch dressed as Chucky the doll. But my um, background in dollology is dollology <laughs> is my love for the Goosebumps book Night of the Living Dummy. Yes, and that poster that that like artwork for Goosebumps it reminded me of the poster of Dead Silence. Yeah, I agree. Slappy, like I love Slappy. The Goosebumps book cover is probably the creepiest version of him. Mm -hmm. But who doesn't love a good scary marionette? Who doesn't love a good slappy nowadays? <laughs> but before we get started, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon. Or you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. And finally, don't forget to check out our Discord where you can talk to us about this movie and anything else that's on your mind. The link is going to be in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into it. A universal picture. All right, giving me spooky ooky already. In the 6th century BC, it was believed that the spirits of the dead would speak through the stomach region of the living. The stomach region? From the Latin, vente, for belly, <gasps> and loqui, to speak. Hence the word, ventriloquist. Ventriloquist? I mean, I feel like you put in a nice beat in this and it'll be like popping. I will say, looking at this, mm -hmm. it's reminding me how terrifying ventriloquist puppets are. I think they're scarier than like dolls, like I a Chucky so, doll or anything like that. I don't know, it's something about the fact that, like, they're meant to move around and stuff. Mm. Oh, 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 I will say this theme is pretty great. I'm like, I just want to, like, throw it back right now, like. Oh. Oh. Don't mind some anal leakage there. Wow, you are fast. <laughs> <laughs> Saved by the bell. What's this, Jamie? Jamie Ashen, it looked like. <gasps> that looks uh, like awfully like a puppet box. <laughs> 
And this is the point where I would lock it up back up and then put it back outside. There's no card, no note. These eyes look so real. Oh, <laughs> that's so creepy. Beware the stare of Mary Shaw. She had no children, only dolls. Mm, something, something scary. No, girl, give me the whole thing. I feel like that's going to come in handy later on. I think it will. Imagine she just said it and that, like, awoke the spirit. Yeah, no, you're you're staying locked in that box. Especially after that. Yeah, that's a no. That's a no. Burn it. Bury it. Do whatever it takes. If you get Jamie to scream, I'll make sure you get seven minutes in heaven with my old bar. Deal? Oh, is she trying to scare him? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, this, this is, is bad news. This is a million news. percent something you would do to me. Oh, yeah, and this is what's going to happen to me. Something bad. Mm -mm. Why do little movements like that fucking scare me? Oh! Stop it. That's sweet. I'm sensing something really bad's gonna happen. I don't like this. Out of the apartment now. What is happening right now? Look around, everybody, all of you. I don't like that we just like went cone of silence in this place. Dead silence. Oh, oh what is happening? Oh, girl, what's what's wrong, girl? You can get up, right? Oh no. Okay, yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, damn it, he doesn't even know about it. He's gonna be walking. Oh, you gotta roll. <laughs> Movie, why, why do you gotta pull those strings at me? Oh, Lisa. I'm in here. <laughs> oh, don't fucking play with me right now. Lisa. My I'm dude, it's blood. blood. It's blood. <laughs> Did you just say, don't put the Chinese food on the blood? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Lisa, this is not funny. Whose blood do you think that is? Uh, yeah, it's so questionable that he's not freaking out right now. <gasps> oh, shit. Did they just like... Break her jaw? That's what it looks like. And her face was all like porcelain and cracked. Oh, yes. Visually, that looks gross. Okay, transition. We're getting a lot of eye shots. Mm -hmm. What is this, Black Xmas 2006? <laughs> I think you always have been a little bit feisty about it. <sighs> Let me get your marks. Not a one. Is he playing another cop that's just going to be fucked over at the end? Rules on the day that he, you know, like that's an alibi. Alibi. Oh, is he trying to play like some tricks to be like, yeah. Hey, I want to admit. He's that trying you... to get him to confess. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. You received an unmarked package just moments before Lisa was killed. Yeah, a package containing. That is very, very suspicious. Why would he send it to himself or even? That's the first thing I would think of. Mm. Good. Now give me more time to do your job for you. Mic drop. Thank mm. God. You know, he was kind of being a dick to you. Although more realistically, I mean, dude should have asked for a lawyer at the very beginning. Although I think just like a back and forth of five minutes with the cop asking a question, the lawyer being like, don't answer that. Like, yeah, would be boring. <laughs> That's evidence, <laughs> right? It's at, the, it's at the scene of the crime. Yes. And that's the package that came in. Sorry, sorry. 
I'm not going to be a stickler about these things. This is not supposed to be a crime drama it's movie. It's true. Oh, sped up. Sped up. Sped up. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Sorry, you give me. This is what happens. A quiet place to live. Oh, that's cool. You see the car? That's cool. Mm -hmm. One thing I give this movie is their transitions are pretty good. Yeah. So this is like a ghost town. So did everybody receive a puppet? That's a good question. I like that the car is the most colorful thing out of everything and everything's kind of like dulled out. I think like that's a good way to indicate like he's not part of this town anymore. Like he's moved on. Yeah. My lord, you must think I'm so rude. We haven't even been introduced. I'm yeah. Ella. Ella, Ella, A, A, A. Jamie, he doesn't fight anyone, not anymore. Well, then you're not married to my father. Ella! Damn, okay. There's some, there's some backstory here, mm -hmm. some, some troubles. You've done the least you can do my whole life. It's too late for charity now. Is that why you've come here? Damn, boy. To remind me what a bad father I've been to you? He came here simply for that. Just to be like, you know what, fuck you. Also, what the fuck is wrong with this doll? No children, only dolls. And if you see her in your dreams... Be sure you never, ever scream. You know it. It is a pretty scary poem. Though I do think it's a, such a stretch that it's like Shaw and dolls to like rhyme, but... What if, what if she's Mary Shaw? And there's like some sort of like skeleton key type thing going on. Well, I do think that she's fucking suspicious. But she was smart enough to leave. So it's a good thing you're gonna outlive him, lady. And we know when to paint you out. Well, I want to know how they met. Give me, give me her backstory. You spoken to her family yet? Only once. We, we didn't really talk about casket choices. Wait, like since she died, or like? Maybe ever. Ever? Okay, well, I feel like her family should be involved. Well, she must be, like, from this town or this area, too, because she knew the rhyme. Yeah. Now, why would you fucking put him on the chair like that? That's caused calling for trouble. Oh, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Hold up a second. Jimmy. It was just like I just wanted to check up on you. Uh-uh. And see how you're doing. Oh, and now it's fucking staring at you. See, this is this is why you put it in the trunk. He's seen this before. Yes. Oh no. Don't find me down here. Marion, I'm not gonna ask you again. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, girl. That seems like a scarier place. Yeah. Go on. Go on up, I'll be up later. Oh, they seem sweet. I wanna know her story. I don't know. Cause she it seems like she's seen some things. Well, she was saying the silent time is here. Girl, what year are we in? Why does, why does he have that camera? Well, when it works. So you're telling me nobody showed up to this funeral for this girl? Oh, lies, sorry. We just had one angle. There's more to the story. <laughs> oh, let me just walk in the creepy woods. Everything in this town seems so like abandoned and overgrown. Right? Oh, no, Marion, Marion, you leave him alone. This is not the time. Though, it is weird that her name is Marion. Mm -hmm. Because As Marionette. Marionette. Oh, girl. The only thing I, I want would be to just give him a haircut. 
He's definitely giving 2007, like, just letting your curls fly. I don't mind it. <laughs> I, I feel like we can call this the Sam Winchester hair. <laughs> Isn't that cheating? Isn't the Billy the Puppet? We already have a Billy the Puppet from Saw. What the fuck? Look at the road. Don't look at this fucking creep. All right. Go, 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 I go, would go. take it out of my car, put it on the street, run over, back up. No, that's not going to work. It's probably going to follow you. It's probably going to pop up back in, like, on the chair. Did he, like, bring a shovel at least? Yeah, are we prepared for this? This really feels like a sometimes dead is better Ooh, moment. Sometimes dead is better. Quiz time in the comments. Let us know what movie that's from. We're not going to say it. Okay, he did bring a shovel. Ooh, Ooh. all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Serving the gaze a little bit. I'm going to talk you up. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, put it. Put it in the ground right now. Do it right now. So much silence. Oh Put my the god! On. You're almost there. There you go. I don't think it's gonna work though. Mainly because we still have a lot left of the movie. <laughs> oh. uh, 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 uh. Sorry. <laughs> fucking fucking Billy just like, hey, you forgot me, guys. I mean, I kind of would immediately just leave this town. I don't know. But maybe he's back in his... No, he's not back in his apartment. I can't bury my wife. You, you got a problem with that? You have no right nope. being in this motel room. Why are you always shaving? Man, well, it's been a few days. Maybe he hasn't. He's clean shaven. You know, he's like, he, he works all the time. He's that kind of detective. He has no time for, you know, for little things. To my questions... Maybe you'd like to answer his. Oh, <clears throat> he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. The cop is mm -hmm. definitely gonna get it. You understand what I'm saying? Here? Wait, why do I kind of want a Billy puppet now? No, I want one the not. Billy from Saw puppet and this Billy puppet. No, does anyone sell it? If you ever see her, make sure you never scream. Or what? Or you end up without a tongue. I guess your wife didn't listen or not. Oh, they took out her tongue. Also, that is so fucking messed up to say. He literally, you literally said, I guess your wife didn't listen. Oh my God. He has every right to punch your face. You don't find Billy cute? No. All right. Not in the slightest. Give it a year, guys. No. Maybe, maybe next no. year we'll have him in the household. No. Friend of yours? Not. Are she fucking petrified? Why would you bring it to her house? It's hers. Who? Mary Shaw. We don't say her name around here. She who must not be named, Mary Shaw. It, that is a name that kind of feels like if you say it enough times, mm -hmm. she'll come to you. There are things you remember, and there are things you can't forget. Quiz time. Do you remember the poem? Do you? Don't spin this around me. It's not about me. But if you must know, beware of the stare of Mary Shaw. Um, uh, yes. Don't scream or she'll chop your balls. That's uh, not... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Once... Ooh, we're getting a flashback. I like this. Hey, where are you, Billy? You won't find me, mother. <laughs> oh, it's like, what the fuck? What in the fuck is happening right now? Oh, Billy, you sneezed all over my shoe. <gasps> the voice is very similar to the Goosebumps Slappy. Mm -hmm. It's very weird. Amy, you spoke the words. You and I are one now. Mother, I, I can't help I can it. I see your lips moving. Dead. Dead girl. 
girl, you're goner, goner. He thinks you're a dummy and that I'm doing your voice for you. But that can't be true. Imagine he's just realizing this in the moment, like, what? <laughs> I'm a dummy? Some weeks later, that disbelieving little boy went missing, gone, without a trace. Part of me feels like she is turning the kids into dummies. Mm -hmm. Not only did she ask to be buried with her dolls, she asked to become a doll herself. Oh, honey, you want the realism. You want to become a doll, like fully functional? Oh God, oh God, oh God. That actually looks pretty cool. How do you even begin to make someone into a doll? Posed in family pockets. Oh. Oh, girl. Uh -uh. Who would have dug up the dummy and sent it to me? I don't know. I will say the design of like the what happens to them is really creepy. Mm -hmm. And the design of Mary Shaw that we just saw now, yes. where she was just like. <sighs> so scary. If I was a kid, I would be fully scared for the rest of my life. If you go looking for answers, you just might find them. That's what I'm counting on. Oh, don't leave the doll there with them. Mm -mm. Please tell me you took it with you. Morning, Mary. Just gonna go uh, check in on the kids. I just feel like this guy, it's supposed to be in a different movie. Like, he's a little too animated for me. Mm -hmm. Something about, like, abandoned, like, theaters like this, just really, like, it's just so ominous. Mm -hmm. It's so, I don't know, there's something, there's evil in the air. <laughs> This is like not structural. So sound. fucking unsafe. And it'll be your fault because you're probably trespassing on this place. No, oh, this is the scariest thing in this movie. Heights. Why? As y'all may remember, Sergio does not like heights. That's too high for my liking. You didn't need to stare down. You didn't need to give me that angle. Such a creepy ass hallway. Mm hmm. Is this like where she lived? It could be her dressing room, yeah. All the way up in the rafters? I guess it was where she lived. What the fuck? What in the haunted mansion is this? <laughs> it's. Ashen. That's his name. Ashen. He's in here. <laughs> you ain't getting me with that jump scare, bitch. Wait, it's his name. So who is he? Like his uh, uncle or something? Putting it back where you put him. He talked to me. He talked Stop to me. it. He, he did. He talked to me. He talked to me. I believe her, but at the me same too. time, it's time to chop him up into bits. I don't want this guy to die. He seems so nice. Yeah. No. No. Who the fuck is crying? Shut the fuck up. There's no way that she got down there. Billy, put your fucking eyes back to where it's supposed to be, okay? Yeah. I'm done with your shit. <laughs> Oh my god, the fucking scared me. I, I thought it looked like a hand. So did I. Oh no. I mean, he gets locked in there. What's the worst that could happen, right? Oh my god. Oh no. Don't turn around, dude. 
You don't have to. No, oh, that does not look like Billy's hands. Oh, oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh. No, Henry. Mother, that tongue, baby. I'll vouch for that. <laughs> I didn't come here to eat. I came to talk about Mary Shaw. He just constantly be is like reading these two. <laughs> he is giving very Sam Winchester energy. I don't know what that means because I haven't seen Supernatural. Let me know in the comments if you agree. I feel because Sam is always very like, I must be serious. This is business. Like very, I have the long hair. Mary Shaw. So they dealt their own justice. <laughs> Oh, they Freddy Kruegered her. They did. Then cut out her tongue. Our oh, family killed her. Along with others from Raven's Fair. This, this makes is... sense. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now she's getting revenge. And then their children. And their children's children. Oh, Ooh, she won't stop, girl. She's coming after your babies. Gotta stop this thing. Please, son. Okay. Oh, what the fuck are you doing here? How are you still alive? What I want to know is who did it and why. So do I. I don't give me some ghost story about a woman who kills you if you scream. Well, you might want to like look into it at least, you know, just like the actual facts of it. I, I can prove it. I can. You didn't kill her. There's a way. How does he know this conversation is happening right now? I smell a star. I'm at the theater. That's where I'm going. No, you're going with me. Your appointment with me comes first. You wanted answers. Yeah, I'm giving you him. answers. Cam's over. I feel like she knows more. You know, I she's just standing there doing nothing. Like, uh, cause she made a face when she heard the name Henry. Don't make me coffee off for you, mom. <laughs> okay. I like how it wasn't like a punch or anything. Mm -hmm. It was like a grab and shove down. But I mean, I guess he doesn't want to like punch a cop. Oh, wow, he got there pretty quick. Oh, wow, it just works. This random lantern sitting outside for- I do like the look of this. Looks very, um, you know, spooky. I think it's almost reminiscent of like going to hell. Oh, because like Hades. crossing the river sticks in the boat, yeah. yeah. This is Hades territory. He ran the underworld. Is there a second boat? <laughs> yes, well, there is. Uh, just in case a cop needs to use it. <laughs> Henry. It's not in here, dude. Don't you think this is a weird spot for him to meet you? Yeah. And if you have to run away, you have to like go down 80 feet of ladder. Yeah. Billy. Billy. Is it me or is that a false wall? Maybe it is me. He's just going to punch it. Remember, whatever happens, don't scream. <laughs> that was, he said it in such a, like, a, I'm a cool guy line. Whatever happens, don't scream. Walk off. <laughs> you follow me. Okay. I mean, he's got the gun, so I'm standing behind you. Oh! All right, nice work. Oh my God, there they are, there they are. They look a lot smaller than I thought they would. That's Annabelle? really cool. <laughs> nah, that's that's a uh, Hannibal. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, they put their doll Lissy 
into this. Like they mm -hmm. created these dolls and they're all individually like they, they look different. I like that. Oh, oh my God. Is that a doll? Is that the kid? I think it's the kid. Oh, now that is disturbing. And it was a boy. Oh! <laughs> why, why did it do that? Oh, he was moving shit. Don't be fucking moving shit. Long lost relative. Oh, fuck. I hate, I hate that. It's so scary. Oh, fuck. There's literally a hundred of them there. <gasps> what? Girl, you don't gotta twist your neck like that. This is not good. All right, this is, this is terrifying. This is actually really, really terrifying. The A fuck? fucking clown? Bianca Del Rio. Billy! Billy! Oh my God! That's so cool that they put that in there. I love that. Sometimes you have to use existing parts. Oh, that's the stare. Oh, my boy. Oh, no. Come closer. Nope. And I'll tell you. Are you fucking I can kidding hear me? You from here. Mm -mm. This so is so stupid. Dumb. This is so literally so dumb. Hey, how you doing, little mama? Let me whisper in your ear. <gasps> Wait, I didn't hear what he what they said. The last action was inside her. Oh! <laughs> I for sure thought that was a penis. Oh. Oh, ew, ew, I don't like that. Is this supposed to be like all the tongues that she took sewn together? That's a lot of work, girl. Uh-uh. All right, CGI lady. <laughs> you, you stay where you are. Oh my God. Thank oh. you. Thank you. That, that's how you do it. Oh, no. I felt for Donnie. I felt bad for Donnie Wahlberg. He never makes it out of these movies. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we did not get an app shot. That was a time to like have his shirt be ripped off by yeah, the platform. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know what's weird? In these situations, I don't think my instinct would be to scream. I think I would literally go like, I honestly think I would. I would scream. You've watched enough videos here. To oh, know yeah, that that's I would true. Scream. That's true. <laughs> there it goes. Up in flames. Did we do it? Did we, like, defeat Mary no. Shaw? No? It's too early. Oh, 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 and what? We're going back and defeating Billy. Yeah, we're gonna go and kick his ass and burn him. Burn him to the hell. Yeah, Billy, go. Listen to me. Where is the dummy? He took it. Who took it? Who took it? <laughs> Mr. Mr. Your dad? What is he? Okay, revelations are happening. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're gonna get a reveal now. Is that a thing over there? There was something covered in the corner before, but. Mary, oh my God. Throw him in the fire. Don't scream. Oh, yeah, that is tied up, Tongues. Finally, get the fuck out of here, Mary. What if he was dead the whole time? And and he was being operated like a puppet by the wife. Oh! Oh! I'll vouch for that. What the fuck? Oh, ew! Jamie! Was she Mary Shaw the whole time? Did I fucking call it? 
Not fair. You called it like 10 seconds before like it happened. Now, who's the dummy? <laughs> oh, fuck. He screamed. He did. Now what? Oh, God, that's creepy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Girl, Mary Shaw is going to continue to serve, apparently. Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm going to do what the fuck I plan to do. And there's no ifs and or buts. All right. All right, guys. So that was our reaction to Dead Silence from 2007. Mm -hmm. Now, what are your initial thoughts of the movie? So, I loved the twist. I love the twist. I, I think it happened so fast. Yeah. Um, but I do love the gore that we saw there. Mm -hmm. I never in my life would have seen a stick behind someone's back like that. That is crazy. Like, literally a human puppet. Human puppet. That was, it was like... I mean, to be fair... You know, I feel like gay people do human puppeting all the time. <laughs> oh my God. You know, you just lube up your fist and you just stick like- Stick it up inside there. And stick it <laughs> So far that you can make the mouth talk. <gasps> but I thought that this was a, a really well paced, like well put together story. Um, it was, it was, there were some parts that were definitely scary. I think it was probably a little more creepy than gory to me, but- Yeah, I think that's where I mean, overall, I had a great time with this movie. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a good roller coaster ride. And I just loved seeing how creepy and creative they got with like, especially when the when the times where they would just like take off all the sound effects and all the music and oh, just yeah. were left in silence, which that silence, we kind of expect that, um, which I'm really, really glad that they delivered on that. They delivered on the creepiness of puppets mm -hmm. and kind of reignited fears of that. Um, I I wish there was a lot more kills. Like I would have loved yeah. maybe two or three more uh, people that got got by like Mary Shaw. Because whenever we got that, it was really cool. I yeah. thought Henry's death was fucking phenomenal. I I didn't expect that. Um, the wife's death was really cool. Um, but, but I wanted to see more of it. Also, like the cops where he was like pretty much picked up and then like thrown at us. Yeah, that was awesome. I, but I will say, I think that, like, maybe they could have been a little more creative isn't the right word, but, like, revealing maybe with the kills. Like, we could have seen more. This was during yeah, the, the, like, age of Saw. Well, so, be, like... Being that the creators were the, the creators of Saw, maybe they were going with a different thing, right? Maybe they wanted to... Uh, portray horror in a different way besides yeah. what they were already known for which was being like kind of which is, gory and which disgusting is and i think this um, was i think it was well done i also think this the story especially was really well put together for this um i think you could have easily set yourself up for a sequel here is there a sequel to this movie i don't think so you guys can correct me in the comments but i haven't heard about it that silence too um it's really weird because i think I think the the overall synopsis and plot and mystery was really good, mm -hmm. but I think that they had trouble fleshing it out in an hour and a half movie because yeah. I felt like there were times where we kind of were just meandering around the town and going to the hotel and, you know, I feel like you could have really done this story in like 20 minutes, you know, mm -hmm. but, but being fleshed out, it seemed like it took us a while to get to where we were going, but that's just my opinion. I still had a great time with it, but there are some flaws, I think, to, to the movie. Yeah, I think I think that we, I, I was just needing a little more like being hunted by the marionette yes. kind of moments mm -hmm. because there were like, it's like some of the deaths were off screen, like with the detective where like he just got sucked in the car and then came back and he had Yeah, like, I would have loved to see that like hole. actually like being like yeah. Um, but I mean, again, it's a stylistic choice that they went for, which just mm -hmm. didn't ruin the experience. I just, it would have added more points to it. But like her having all the tongues tied together onto her tongue was like- That was good. Really creative. Oh, and when you really think about the idea that this kid was turned into a puppet mm -hmm. and it's just decaying in this theater and the look of it, oh, that was nuts. So uh, that in itself 
gave enough points for me to be like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. Some of the CGI was kind of questionable, in, especially during like the her turning into like the the puppets. Mm -hmm. Kind of questionable there, but it's it's fine. I still had a good time, and of course the soundtrack was on point. Yes. I think that that main theme I could hear it over and over again, like a ton of times. I'll fall asleep to it. Well, and it's cool that it like it built on itself as the movie. Like it kept mm -hmm. adding layers and dimensions as we kept hearing it throughout the movie. And I saw that the music was by Charlie. I hope that's his name, Charlie Clauser, okay. who also did the music to Saw. So like it he's got quite a repertoire. I feel like keep giving him projects to do music in. I want to see him be like the next Hans Zimmer. Mm -hmm. um, do you know? But guys, you can let us know what you thought of the movie down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you just think this was like a nostalgic thing for you? For you? Because I feel like if I saw this in 2007, I would feel nostalgic for it. I feel like I would have a bigger love for it yeah. than watching it now. You know? But of course, we want to thank our patrons. Thank you so much for all the support this whole year. And anyone who has been here since the very, very beginning, you'll see their names right here. Uh, if you want your name to be listed on at the end of our videos, please go over to Patreon.com com slash the hard bandwagon you'll be able to sign up for any tier that is three dollars and up to get your name at the end of the videos and thank you also to our youtube members we really appreciate you if you want to be a youtube member you can click the join button below you'll get access to a bunch of free emojis and we do special members only watch alongs and lives throughout the month and overall since it is the last video that we're, we're putting out in 2023 we want to thank everybody who just has been with us since the very beginning this year has been kind of super important for us mm -hmm. it it we started off the year with reactions to like megan we started the the last of us series we started yellow jackets we started scream queens we started saw like so much has happened this year that was freaking amazing and we honestly couldn't have not done it without you without talking to the viewers and hearing your comments and just having a lot of fun i think this year really really was a, a pivotal step in our journey on yeah. YouTube. The channel has really grown so much more than we were anticipating. And oh yeah. For, and it's all thanks to all of you. We're so surprised that we get at least like five views. Yeah. So like, thank you so much. We appreciate it. You have no idea how grateful we are. We're always going to be humbled about this experience. Um, especially because listen, we, we get, we're loud. We're loud people. We're goofy. Uh, we say off the cuff things sometimes and people are like what the fuck are y'all talking about but i appreciate you guys still watching us we started scary streaming sundays we started gaming on the channel we started gaming with other reactors out there and collabing with other reactors you guys know who you are we love you all everybody that we started to kind of build relationships with we we cannot thank you guys enough and as well all, all our discord community we started our discord this yeah. year so if you want to go join discord there's a link down in the in the description you'll be able to go there and say hi and join us in the journey for 2024 but we want to wish you all a happy new year and a safe new year we'll see you in 2024 until next time we have been your source for hard analysis criticism and spooky okay and sometimes kooky entertainment bye everyone bye.